Hello everyone from the internet, welcome back to another design tutorial. Today's video is going to be mainly featuring how to create an advert and specifically a G Fuel advert or a product advert of that kind. If you could kind of go ahead and like the video, we'll jump straight into this and I'll be teaching you how you can design your very own professional looking advert. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is create our file size which is 600 width and height 900. Make sure these are in pixels, resolution 1080 and keep everything the same as what I have on my screen. We're going to go ahead and click OK now and then we should have our canvas. So the first thing we're going to need is the actual product itself. So we're going to go ahead and get that and we're going to put that on the screen. Okay, so previously just because of my experience with designing this, I'm going to go with the type of apple flavored product so I'm gonna go over to my images and I'm gonna to go to Apple G Fuel so now we have our PNG and it is an outdated version there is the fully dated version right there but that's already got graphics around it and uh, I don't really want to mess with what's here because I want to teach you how to make your own type of design so we're gonna go with the older tub here but you can of course go and use it with a newer tub if that's what you would like in fact, there is a better PNG here, I believe. So we're going to go with that. So we're going to go with that. And we're just going to get rid of the background. Because it's a PNG or it's got a white background, obviously you can just use your magic wand tool and delete the background just like that. We're going to go over here now to our main layer. And in fact, I'm just going to crop this a tiny bit. So I just want to make it slightly, just not, not as long. But anyway, we've got our G Fuel tub here. We're going to Command T this. And of course, this is going to be the main focus of the entire product and we're gonna put this dead on in the middle because bang straight in your face and now what we're gonna need is to match some of the colors on the background I'm gonna go for quite a like not 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 too dark of a green but some form of dark green and that's gonna be there and we're gonna go now select this and we're gonna go and make a brighter version a more a brighter version than that so now that we've got our kind of gradient there, we're going to go over to our layer zero. We're going to put a gradient overlay on it, change linear to radial. Okay, so I had to reset alignment there just for a quick second, and we've got that sorted. So now we do have here our gradient, and you can mix and match whichever form of radialness you want there. But in fact, I'm going to change this up a bit. I'm going to make this slightly darker right there. I'm going to go back over to my gradient, and I'm just going to update, update that color scheme. All right, so now we've got a, as you can see, a nice gradient where it goes out from bright to dark and it's radial, so that's dead on in the middle. Now, one thing that really does appear on these adverts is one, splashes, and two, fruit. We're going to start with the fruit and I'm going to teach you how you can make it look nice and clean. As I like to mention, you've really got to expand on what the product actually is, and this is based on Apple, and they want to promote it as an energy drink and they want to keep it fresh. So we're going to go over to green apples png remember pngs just automatically have the background removed and that's 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 the best thing we can use right now so as you can see here it's got kind of a fresh watery look and that's the sort of stuff we're really looking for it's very large so we're just going to command t this or control t this and we're going to downscale it a little bit we can mess with the tub in a while but first of all I want to kind of surround it with the type of look that we're going for first. So we're going to go ahead and just put this in the, in, in, in the side here because obviously it just really does look quite nice there. And uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is go over to my filler. I'm going to go over to Gaussian Blur and obviously it's going to spread it quite a bit. But I only want it to be a tiny bit blurred here because I don't want it to be the main focus. I still want the tub to be the main focus. Next up, I'm going to drag this in again, and of course, we've got to resize it, make it much smaller. But this time, we are actually going to put it next to the tub. So I'm just going to put this just on the front of the tub right there. And another thing I'd actually like to mention to you is a great thing to do after we've got all these fruits on is we're going to mess with the lighting sources. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add, uh, Just I'm just going to make another small apple here. This is going to go behind it, however, I'm just going to I'm just gonna rotate this and I'm going to put this behind that apple. I'm going to put this behind the tub as well, because I just want to remove that bit. I am actually going to gorge and blur this as well and make that not the main focus, because 
it's not really what we want to be the main focus at the minute. But um, as I mentioned with the kind of freshness that they try to go for, we're going to go ahead and we are going to get some splashes. So we're going to type in splash PNG and see what we can come up with. Or actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one step. Back. I'm gonna go water splash PNG. And here we go. We have our basis of what we would really like to go for. All right, so there we go. We got our splash, and we are going to kind of scale this around product right here. As you can see, we've got it fitting in perfectly here. And we are just going to remove realistically what we don't need. Um, I'm going to go to command U and I'm going to change this so it looks slightly greener because I want the splash to really go and match the theme. I also just added a bit on the front. Um, I don't want it completely covering the front of the product, but I just double duplicate the layer with command J and I put the other layer. So there you can see that's just the base splash and then I've copied it and then put a layer above the tub and had it covered in this water because that's exactly what we want. We want it to be that fresh aspect, remember. I'm going to go ahead and copy this apple again. I want this apple behind the product this time and I want this one to be a, a, a just a really a really large version of it. Of course this is going to be Gorge and Blurred because we don't want that to be the main focus. We just want it to emphasize the aesthetics of the product. Now we're going to go with a, some sort of lighting and we're going to go above all the layers, create a new layer and we're going to do my favorite part. We're going to go to the ellipses tool, we're going to go over to white and you can always create the sort of lighting that you want with any color. I just prefer to go with white because it's very clean. So we're going to go ahead and spotlight this and we're going to create quite a thin oval. However, I just need to remove the stroke on this circle. And yeah, we're going to spotlight this. So there's our first one. And with this, we're actually going to gorge and blur it, blur it quite a severe amount. So I'm going to zoom in. Actually, I can't do that for now, but I'm just going to make sure that it generally does look like some sort of lighting source. So there we go, we have that. And now I'm going to duplicate this with Command J, Command T it. And I'm just going to try and make uh, just some mini spotlights. I'm going to make some thinner spotlights. There we go. So we have that there. But now we want to make the G Fuel look like it's really floating. And that's, that's one of the things that a lot of people like to see in these adverts. So we're going to go to Command J. We're going to go back into a circle. This time we're actually going to make it black. And we're going to make this new layer here. And we're going to kind of put it just below the tub right there. And we're going to go back over to our blur, our Gaussian blur. And we're not going to make it as weak, but we're not going to make it as strong either. So we're going to kind of get our, our in, the, in the middle balance, which now looks like the G Fuel is, in a sense, floating, which is just a really great thing that people like to look out for so now we're we're gonna we're gonna kind of mess around with what we can really put here um i'm just gonna put something similar to maybe green apple and i'm actually gonna make that quite small if you want to know the font i'm using it's evogria and I'm going to make this white because really white goes great with just about any backing color. It's it's one of those colors that can really match against whatever's in the background. So we've got green apple and that is the furthest back layer we can go if we go back to this ellipsis here. In fact, I'm going to put it over the shadow because I don't, I don't want it to be overpowered. And then we can have available at and then put the website just because the people want to know where you get the product. We're going to make this smaller than the actual flavor just just for aesthetics purposes. And then we're going to kind of center this. And there we go. We have our advert built right there for us. And you know, it looks professional, it looks clean, it looks slick. If you want to remove the water, you of course can. You can you can really do what you want to do with this. And that, that's the beauty of making an advert. It's always mixing and matching. And there you go, you can see it in a much cleaner sense right there. That's that's a very cleaner looking version rather than what we just had with the splashes. But people like the splashes for some reason. I personally don't. But um, yeah, as you can see here, 
is just a very simple advert that you can make and you can do this with all sorts of products so this is how you can advertise product okay so here's the advert i've made and again it's really about keeping the aesthetics keeping it kind of under control of course with this i've just textured it i've made everything go with the shoe i've made the background very textured i've kept the font of the official branding i've kept flares i've kept color schemes similar and it's really what you're looking for so I do hope that this has been kind of educational for you in some sort of sense, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to leave a like, it does help out quite a bit.